creepy clown mask, scary tattoos, and a suspicious looking jellyfish. These are the 10 scariest McDonald's Happy Meal toys ever. Number 10, Step It. McDonald's has been accused of selling bad food that makes people add weight for many years. It's a bad sign that the company tries to clear up every time. To do this, they started adding new fun athletic toys in their Happy Meals to make children stay more active. So what did they use that found itself on this list, you ask? Well, someone had the brilliant idea to add a watch that tracks the progress of activities, like the smartwatch used by adults. Even though the idea is good for McDonald's and can help children play and exercise more, the toy was badly made. It had a light inside, which was so hot that it made the back of the watch heat up. When this happened, a lot of kids got burned on their wrists. Talk about a Happy Meal that made children cry in pain. Scary. Number 9. Popoids Popoids are popular toys loved by children because they can be made into anything. They're like Legos but more flexible. Popoids had heads, wheels, and bodies that can be joined in many ways to create anything. But when McDonald's decided to add Popoids in their Happy Meals, it became something else. Not only were they scary, but they also didn't look as fun. The Happy Meals were packed with a few pieces of Popoids. It wasn't the complete set, so children could only use what they had to play. So if they wanted more Popoids, they'd have to buy more Happy Meals. But even the few pieces of Popoids weren't the right ones because they looked scary when joined together. Also, the Popoids were small bits that children could easily swallow and choke on, which made it scary for parents. Imagine having to buy many Happy Meals only to get scary and incomplete toys. Number 8. Plastic Bags or Glove Puppets how would you like to get a plastic bag as a birthday present? No? How about as a Christmas present? Still no? Nobody told McDonald's that children don't think of plastic bags as a toy because that is exactly what they put into their Happy Meals one time. They thought the toy would be better by slapping the face of Ronald McDonald on it. That just made it even scarier. The plastic bag was supposed to be a plastic puppet. How many children even know how puppets worked? But it gets worse. This toy was scary for parents because children could choke on them. Many kids turned their plastic puppets into balloons by blowing them up. Some just wore it on their heads. Parents were the most terrified by this toy. It seems no one told McDonald's that children should not be given plastic bags as toys. It's a surprise that people didn't stop buying Happy Meals. If you think these toys were scary, now we're going to take a look at some naughty minions, ugly and scary looking Furbies, and a Ronald McDonald plush toy. Number 7. Minions As of 2015, many children loved Minions from the Pixar cartoon. The little yellow guys loved bananas and did the silliest things. What's not to love about them? So how did they get onto this list? Your answer is McDonald's. The company joined the movie to make toys for Happy Meals. This way kids can get some of their favorite Minions with their food. Even though it was a good idea, the toys that kids found in their meals were bad. The minions were recorded to say some words in their language, but as we all know, their language doesn't make any sense. So when it came out, many parents heard swear words. Somehow, McDonald's had made a naughty toy in a language that shouldn't even be understood. Parents were not happy about this. We know for sure that many kids did not get to play with their minions. Thanks a lot, McDonald's. Number 6. Furbies during the 1990s, there was a popular toy among children called Furbies. Now, these toys were not as cute as many as we have today, but kids liked them all the same. Weird, right? Furbies were good for kids until McDonald's started making their own for Happy Meals. Their own type of Furbies were smaller so that they could fit into Happy Meals. And like the Minions, Furbies were also talking toys. But even though they didn't say naughty things, they were not as cute as the Minions. So parents had to listen to the creepy toys play many times because of their kids. That is both scary and annoying at the same time. What's even scarier is that the Furbies were given creepy voices. Imagine hearing those voices at night. You might not be able to sleep with the lights off for a while, all because of a Happy Meal. Number 5. Ronald McDonald Plush Toy Children in the 1980s didn't get many good toys in their Happy Meals. For example, the Ronald McDonald Plush Toy. Kids love plush toys because they're soft, cute, and can be cuddled to sleep. But it seems no one told McDonald's about it because they made a scary doll for their Happy Meals. The plush toy was shaped like Ronald McDonald and painted in yellow and red. The shape and size of the doll were just wrong. This made the toy look creepy, especially if you looked at it for too long. We don't think many kids enjoyed playing with it. And even if some kids didn't think it was scary, how long could they play with a tiny foam doll? We're sure McDonald's would want to forget they made such a bad Ronald McDonald plush toy in the first place. Hopefully, we don't see any more of it. Number 4. Rasputin 
Anastasia was a popular movie in 1997. It came from Russia and taught us about their stories there. The bad guy in the movie was called Rasputin. Because many people knew the movie, McDonald's made a toy about it to sell more Happy Meals. How did that go? Well, they thought kids might want to play with the bad guy, so they made a Rasputin toy. But it gets worse. The toy had a small button on the back. When kids pushed this button, it made Rasputin fall apart. His head came off with his arms and legs. It doesn't make any sense why McDonald's thought kids would enjoy such a toy. But it wasn't only kids. Parents thought that the toy was too serious for little kids. Children liked to play with toys because it was fun. But there was no fun in breaking Rasputin apart and putting it back together again. Starting now, things get serious. It's now time to take a look at a jellyfish that looks like a part of a male body, a scary tattoo, and a creepy clown mask that looks like Pennywise. Number 3. Suspicious Jellyfish Adults have their own toys the same way children have their own toys. Children play with children's toys and adults play with their own things. But again, McDonald's didn't remember this when they made a jellyfish toy after the movie Shark Tale. Even though kids may not have seen anything wrong with the toy, parents did. Unfortunately, not many of them were happy that the toy looked more like a part of the male body than an animal found at sea. Toys like that should not be in the food eaten by children. Because of this, many parents spoke about the toy and why it shouldn't be with kids. To us, this is one of the biggest toy fails that McDonald's has ever made. From the body of an octopus to its head and base, this toy is just bad for kids. Imagine the type of questions curious children would ask their parents. Number 2. Temporary Tattoos In 2011, a scary toy was found in the Happy Meal sold in Sweden. McDonald's made some temporary tattoos for kids. Yeah, that's right, tattoos for children. First of all, can we just agree that tattoos are not toys? How do you even play with them? We don't think McDonald's knew that, but it gets worse. One of the tattoos was a swastika. When parents saw it, they were surprised and came out to speak about it. McDonald's said that no one noticed the tattoos before putting them into the Happy Meals. A whole company and no one saw it? Would you look at that? But McDonald's did not want to take the blame, so they said it was the fault of the makers of the tattoos, which was a Chinese company. People didn't like it much and McDonald's had to stop making the tattoos. Now, if you don't understand why the tattoo is bad, here's why. A swastika is a bad symbol that means hate for people. It shouldn't be in a kid's meal and children should not have to wear it on their bodies. It's scary that McDonald's didn't do their job well to avoid such a toy. Now we move on to the moment you've all been waiting for. Number 1. Ronald McDonald Mask It looks like McDonald's didn't have any ideas for you for their Happy Meals when they started adding masks. Now we're not talking about fun ones to wear to a school party, we mean a Ronald McDonald clown mask. We don't think they know that some people are afraid of clowns. Even good and friendly ones may scare some kids. So imagine a child seeing that in their food. Yeah, scary. But that's not the worst part. Because the mask was kept next to the food, it became oily before kids found it. Now they had to wear a dirty mask on their face, look like a clown, and smell like a Happy Meal. Also, how many times can a child play with a mask before they find something else to play with? Without someone else to play with, the masks don't make any sense. Even if the masks were made for Halloween, would any parent want to dress their child up as Ronald McDonald? Someone has to start telling Mickey D's that their ideas of toys for kids aren't always the best. Of all the things they could come up with, they chose a clown mask. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.